Welcome to State of Tech. Let's take a look at the newly launched Google Assistant available for your iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch. Now go ahead and launch Google Assistant and it's going to bring you in and you can see where I last left off here with my Google Assistant. Now to find out what Google Assistant can do, we're going to tap on the microphone icon and ask what can it do. What can you do? Here are a couple of suggestions. So here are some suggestions of what Google Assistant can do. We can get weather, reminders, sports, answers, calls, timers, games, navigation, playing music, having fun, calculations, Google searches, remember items, places nearby, my assistant, personal stuff, conversions, dictionary translation, finance, travel, news, nutrition, and much, much more. Now what I like about Google Assistant is that it's very conversational. I'm gonna go ahead and show you an example. Who is the CEO of Amazon? The CEO of Amazon.com, Inc. is Jeff Bezos. Show me pictures of him. Okay, pictures of Jeff Bezos. Is he married? Mackenzie Bezos since 1993. How old is he? 53 years old. So you can see each time that I asked it a different question, I didn't have to continually repeat his name. All I had to do was ask another question. Kind of what you would do if you were talking face to face with someone, you're having a conversation. So Google Assistant, like I said, is very conversational and you kind of get the idea there. Now there are some other cool things that Google Assistant can do, such as showing me photos that I took today. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you that. Show me some photos that I took today. Here's what I found in your Google Photos. So here are some photos that I took today, and these are all backing up with Google Photos, so it's very easy to show me these photos. But I can also search for some web images, and down below I'm actually getting some other suggestions to show me some different things. And you'll see those suggestions for each thing that you ask it. So now let's ask Google to show me some things that are around me. Show me some Italian restaurants around me. I found a few places. Sort them by top rated. This is the top result. So you see Google Assistant really isn't quite perfect yet. So trying to sort the restaurants by top ratings didn't really work. And if you don't want that suggestion showing up there in your Google Assistant, what you can do is tap and hold and you can actually delete the group or you can even edit your query if you felt like you might have just gotten a little bit of text wrong and you wanted to retry. What's also nice is Google Assistant will actually now allow you to use the keyboard. So if I tap the keyboard button in the bottom left hand corner, I can actually type in my message instead of saying it. This is going to be great if you don't want to kind of look foolish while you're out in public, you can just go ahead and type it in. So I'm going to actually ask it what movies are around me. So you can see there now it's showing me some movie results for my current location. And then I can even sort them down below with all these different suggestions as well. Now up in the top right hand corner, you see that little blue button? That'll actually enter us into our settings. Now in the Explore tab are all the different things that Google Assistant can do. And as we mentioned earlier, you could have seen all those things just by asking Google Assistant, what can it do? Now in the Your Stuff tab, this is where we have different objects that are for us. So reminders, I've actually added a reminder and I have an agenda, shopping list, and even some shortcuts. So reminders like take out the trash, I had Google Assistant set a reminder, or if I had done that on my own Google account, it'll show up here. Same thing with agenda, if I had anything in my calendar, it'll show there, same with the shopping list. I can even add events manually by tapping in here, or I could even have Google Assistant do it. So if I wanted to set something on my calendar, all I would have to do is tell Google Assistant to do so. Add an event to my calendar. So I've noticed event? that with Google Assistant, it's kind of hard to actually add in a calendar event by using full dictation. It kind of gets things a little messed up because there's just a title, date, and time. So in the title section, if I tap in there, I'm just going to add in my title, date, and time, and it's going to add that here into my Google Assistant. You can see I even got a notification saying I canceled the creation. Now there's also shortcuts. Shortcuts are really useful because all I have to do is tell Google Assistant that it's workout time and it's automatically going to play in a workout playlist on Google Play Music. And that's something that I set up. Now if I tap see all on shortcuts, I can get an idea of all the shortcuts that I can create. And workout time was one of the ones that were pre-installed. And so I went ahead and just enabled that. And now just by telling Google Assistant it's workout time, it'll play that playlist. And of course you can always add in your own shortcuts by tapping the plus button. And you can see that when you trigger the Google keyword, you can have it do a specific thing. And then Google Assistant will do a specific thing when you trigger those keywords. And so that's just how you set up those shortcuts. 
Now, if we tap the three little dots in the top right hand corner, we can actually enter into our account settings, activity, help, feedback about, and even cancel. So settings, well, we're going to see all of our general settings and we can even access our account from here. So you see, I've tied it into my Google account. I give you personal information, which is going to be my home and work locations, nickname, preferences, and email updates. Now, I would highly suggest adding in home and work locations because whenever you ask a Google Assistant to give you directions to home or work, it can do so based upon those locations. Then nickname is just kind of a nice little way of giving a little bit more personalization when you're using Google Assistant. Now, payments is a great option. On Google I.O., they show from the stage ordering from Panera Bread and directly paying and doing the whole process directly inside of Google Assistant. They never once had to leave Google Assistant. They were able to do everything directly from within here because they had their payments and address already set up with inside these settings. Now, down below in the services is where things get really fun. For home control, we can actually set up devices. So I tap on the plus button, this will allow me to add smart devices. So I can add things like Nest Cam, Drop Cam, um, and then there's even options for the Philips Hue. So I can have it do things like telling Google Assistant to actually turn my lights on, turn my air conditioner on, turn my heater on. There's a lot of cool things you can do with Google Assistant if you have these smart connected devices. So go ahead and check that out if you have any of those, you'll be able to add your devices and rooms with inside this menu. And then there is news, my day, shopping list, and shortcuts. So news, we can have Google Assistant give us some news, and I've actually set up some sources, and we can actually add plus button to add in some new sources and remove sources, and then we can even reorder the sources. So this is great because I can tell Google Assistant, like, show me some news, and it's going to play all those news audio feeds that I've selected with inside this menu. The same thing is going to happen with my day. We can see we can get my day summary includes weather, work, next meeting reminders and then we can actually end it with news or just go ahead and play nothing else after that you can see up at the top it says just say tell me my day and the assistant will tell us about all the information that we've selected here in that menu now coming back out we have shopping list and I can actually add in shopping lists and items specifically for here by doing this or I can also do it with Google Assistant by using my voice and the shortcuts down below, we saw those shortcuts earlier within that Explore About Us tab. And now that we're here on these Explore and My Stuff, all we have to do to get back into Google Assistant is tap on the Google Assistant icon down below. And so now I'm just going to show you quickly how to access your day. Tell me about my day. Hi, James. It's good to hear you. So there it you can see now it's playing PM. my daily briefing and it's going to Modesto, end by actually playing all of the news. Today, and if you want it to, all you have to do is say stop and it's going to stop doing it. Stop. All right. And so now it's stopped my daily briefing and it's ready for me to give it another command. So I think it's nice to see Google Assistant finally come to the iPhone. If you like this video, be sure and give us a thumbs up down below to let us know that you like the video. Subscribe to see more videos like this and let us know in the comment section below how you're liking using Google Assistant on your iPhone or if you've already been using it on one of your Android devices and how you plan on using it in the future. We'll see you in the next video.